Now, the federal government has indicated interest in collaborating with the People's Republic of China and other nations on cultural diversity and creative economy and reaping the economic and developmental benefits. This was made known at the commemoration of the World Day for Cultural Diversity for Dialogue and Development in Abuja today. Here's more on the story. The Ministry of Art, Culture and Creative Economy on Thursday in Abuja commemorated the World Day for Cultural Diversity for Dialogue. Speaking at the roadwalk, Abiola Abdul Karim, the Senior Special Assistant to the Minister, Hanato Musawa, noted that Nigeria was welcome to more collaborations with different nations, including China, in order to boost the economy. It's very important, obviously, to send signals to all our world um, all the other countries out there that we have collaborations with, especially the countries like China and all these uh, other countries out there, knowing that Nigeria is fully and ready, you know, to collaborate, you know, with them to make sure that this sector, you know, cultural art and culture and creative economy sector is galvanized, you know, like uh, like has never been before. You know, like they say, is a new, new, uh, let's say, art culture is a new oil. So how do we? It's another opportunity for us to engage with them to let them know that we're ready to work with them, you know, to do partnership with them, to do collaborations with them, to increase our presence in all these countries, to, uh, to make them aware that we have beautiful um, cultures and ideas and, you know, that they can come in and, you know, and work with us uh, on. On our part, the Permanent Secretary, who was represented by Akudo Nwa Ugochi, stated that the sector was a new revenue source for Nigeria. So today day, we want to showcase the importance of culture, in national development and the role of culture and for us to appreciate Mr. President for giving us a ministry of art, culture and the creative economy we appreciate and for us to show the role of culture and the creative economy in national development especially in job creation, in mobilization and in promoting our culture, our art and the creative economy and to showcase that this sector is Nigeria's new gold mine. The cultural counselor to the Chinese ambassador, Li Zhuda, urged Nigerians to stand as one as cultural diversity is a strength and not a weakness. I think, you know, for us, we always say harmony. Harmony is the core value of Chinese culture, traditional culture. And also, Nigerian people also treasure the concept of harmony. I think with our joint efforts, we really can celebrate the world's rich culture. At the same time, we can build friendship. So I think like Nigeria, China, we also have 56 ethnic groups. But the most important thing is united. We, we can stand. We should unite as one. We should create a harmonious relationship between all ethnic groups. So we can work together. We can devote ourselves to the country's benefit. The theme for this year's commemoration is embracing cultural diversity, building bridges for a harmonious world. Thank you. Amadine Ogbewe, reporting for Captain Television.